welcome to the first series of small talk session the objective of this session is to improve your knowledge on certain certain stuff sometimes you might do certain stuff blindly just to give some brief understanding about these things and uh, just to improve your knowledge and session is like this right so it's very short session we'll try to cover whatever the content within 5 to 10 minutes and we will have 5 to 10 minutes uh, uh, q and a session as well and uh, because of the session short uh, we will try to stick into very short topic and try to cover as much as possible so any question about the session anything okay so let's start first session uh, of the small talk uh, series so today we are going to discuss about how rdbms uh, indexes are working since the time is uh, very constrained today i was i thought of discussing only about clustered index so the primary key that we know of how it works internally right just before starting uh, how index works there are a few things that we have to know of very basic thing is about the page file what is page file any database system there is something called page file page file is actually the very basic unit of file where a database system saves their data right in case of mysql the page file size can be configured it is by default as i remember with 16 16k but it can be configured as 4k 8k or 16k or 30k or up to 64k what this page file does is actually this is the smallest units that the file system can read or the database system can read from a disk or transfer from memory to cache or whatever this is the smallest unit that it can process all your data all your raw data will be stored in these page files right no matter what's the size of table what's the number of columns that you have the how big your database is everything goes into this 16k or 4k page files where it can read from right number of rows that you can store in this particular page file is actually decided by the size of your row right you may add 15 or 20 column database or table in our case we have the matron table is having 75 columns right what does that mean is the row, size of a row is getting bigger and bigger right which means you have to have more for a particular page file you cannot store more than one or two rows which means you have to have more and more page files to store data that's basic of how we store in data now let's see how it works if you don't have a primary key as i said this simple insert this statement that we are going to run in the employee table will uh, have three columns in that file so what will happen if you uh, keep running this query with different different data let's assume the size of this so is uh, 1 kilobyte and our page size is configured as for uh, kilobyte which means for a particular page file you can store up to four rows right so if you start running this query first time it will create a page file and it will keep storing data once it get full it will create another page file then it will create two links forward and backward links for the previous page file for the traversal purposes right if you read from there it will can in read po forward and backward also then it will keep adding this data right so it will go like this so then if you run this kind of query let's say select first name from employee where id is something right how you get that data there's nothing it can do unless reading from the beginning to the end right what it does is it is start from the first page file keep it reading right until you find the then it through the forward link it goes to next link next page file then it keep reading 
right, until it find the particular record. So if you don't have an index, it will keep reading it up until it finds, right, which means you have to read almost all the data in your database, right. So now well, let's see how the primary work, key works or the clustered index works. So there's a difference between the primary key and the clustered index. The difference is actually the data that you stored in the page files are sorted based on the clustered index. Only one clustered index that you can have for a table, right? only the primary key. That's the only thing that you sort your data in the actual storage. Other things, other indexes are just a pointer. We'll discuss that how other indexes work in a separate session. Here, let's see how it works in here. Let's say even the primary key is again a set of data, right? It requires again storage, right? So let's assume indexing row size is uh, 0.5 kilobyte and see how it stores. First, you will have this kind of page files. Those are now, if you have the primary key on the ID, if you, you can see ID is sorted, right? It's, it's in the sorted order, right? Likewise, you will have n number of page files in your data. When you add, how it is, so it's index also has a their own page file, right? What it simply have is, from ID uh, 1145 to 3561 is stored in page file D1. Likewise, it will have references. Oh, these ranges are in these, 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 these page files, right? So likewise, it will have those links. Now, since again there is a limit, in here, it is the index size or oh, index row size is 0.5k, which means for a particular page, you can keep up until up to eight index rows, which means we have to add more and more index page files to read these things, right? So it is stored in a kind of tree-like structure. Now you will have eight entries in the first page file, then another eight entries in second page file. Now there's no way that you can start. If you uh, run the previous query, there's no point that you can start. Right. How it happens is you will have three like index structure where it again has pointers to where which index files you have which changes. In this case, from uh, page file one or index page file one, you can read or you can refer up to 1145 to 9976. Right. What if it is go beyond that one? It will go to second index file. Likewise, the upper node will have the reference to other ranges. For example, these two index files, you can find this, this kind of rows. What will happen is, if you run this kind of query, first is start from the root node, right? It can keep growing, right? You can add more and more page files, as well as if it get filled, you can add upper layers as well. It will start from the root page file and keep reading. First, it's you want to find 6742, right? Then you will have to find it from the first index file, you will have the reference. Then it will go to the second index file. Then it find where it can find the uh, data page file. Then, sorry, it goes to particular data file and goes on. So you, will, you might notice, regardless of the uh, the 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 page file it has same amount of regardless of the the ID it's about same amount of lookups or hops that you have to find a number so it will increase the performance the drawback here is if you add more and more data it will add more and more index files right it will the the depth of the index will go up higher so that is basically how the primary key works. And uh, let's discuss uh, how other indexes works in, uh, in a separate session. So if you have any question, I can answer uh, now.
that is all for the today's session. Any question? Is this a binary tree? Uh, it is a binary tree. So, when, when does this tree be constructed? Like whenever you insert something or No, no, it is whenever you insert, it will keep generating these index as well as when you are modifying also it has to reconstruct these uh, index files. Uh, in case of MySQL is whenever you deleting actually this file tree is not getting reconstructed that is why you might have noticed that even you delete the data you might not see any performance uh, gain or kind of uh, storage reduction that because this tree will have those entries as it is, you might not have the leaf node, but tree will remain as it is. To get uh, to optimize that, you have to run optimized table or analyze table statement so that it will reconstruct it. Otherwise, every insert command it will have to reconstruct it. That is why when you have more and more indexes, uh, insert performance get dropped. But that depend on how your use case, I mean, uh, depend on how much of data that you have to read, uh, how we are going to, uh, what kind of operation that the database is going to uh, perform, it depends. So, as I know, it is depend on the database management system. Some system does not allow rows to be uh, split across multiple page files, but uh, some uh, allows. As I remember, MySQL does not allow, it cannot uh, store a, a particular partial row in a uh, row, uh, particular page file. The complete row needs to be stored in a particular page file, in case of MySQL, as I know. So, in case of binary data and text, it is again depend on the, the DBMS system. In the case of MySQL, there is an option we can store binary data outside these page files. We can keep a reference on this page file, or binary data also goes to different uh, set of page files. So, that actual data storage uh, will not get compromised because of the binary data. But I, I do not know about other database systems. That again you can configure, I mean, uh, in MySQL also. Also, you can add uh, compression to the page file, that is again a configuration. I mean, you can compress and store your data. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if uh, the question I, as I understood, you will add a record in between these two, right? these two page files are, uh, I mean, uh, full. You will add a page file in between and link it and uh, you have to reconstruct the index anyway. Anyway, every, every index, uh, every insert, it has to recalculate the index and uh, place it uh, accordingly. It's on the fly because the the size of a page file is anyway constant, right? Only way that you can add more and more records is by increasing the depth. That's why when we are adding more and more records, the number of hops that we have to run in order to find a record is getting higher and higher. So then uh, it's even you have a primary key index is getting slower over the time unless you purge the data. If you purge the data, it will you can. Uh, Keep it constant, but still, if you even you purge it, you have to run uh, analyze table, optimize table command to reconstruct the entire index. Otherwise, it will remain as it is. You cannot uh, specifically say purge yeah. this. Yeah. Yes. If we do, 
eventually there's no if you don't run uh, optimized table because it will anyway we'll have these page files and uh, this index thing the, that's why you might have noticed even you delete data your size might not get reduced right so that's because uh, those page allocations are there still that's again uh, depend on the dbma system i mean some uh, system actually handles that uh, on the fly my sake in case of my sake is not happening as well okay then uh, thank you all uh, for participating and uh, from today onwards we'll have this kind of session daily basis up until uh, let's say december and we'll have about 20 sessions and uh, based on the outcome of this one uh, we'll might decide to have next series as well. okay uh, thank you for participating